about 9, 10 this morning, we are going to give you another crack at playing country concentration here on Thunder 104.5. And Paul Hayden trying to give away some money, but oh my goodness, nobody wants to win. Really? I'll take it. I'll take it too. <laughs> my, my old man said a monkey will take money from you. He ain't got no pockets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take it. Oh, Paul. So today is Weird Food Wednesday. We are doing pumpkin pie M&M's. Okay. So the folks at M&M's <laughs> describe this as your favorite fall dessert in bite-sized form. Dive into the rich flavor of real milk chocolate mm. infused with the cozy warmth of pumpkin spice all wrapped up in the vibrant candy shells. That's quite a lot to live up to. These milk chocolates aren't just a treat. They're a bite-sized slice of pumpkin pie mm, dreams. Just like mom used to make. Do you, do you have dreams of pumpkin pie, Paul? No. I don't either. <laughs> they, they're pretty good. Hmm. They got the colors down. They got the nice fall colors on them. They do. I'm tasting chocolate. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a little bit of the... Uh, oh, it's all in the shell. It's all in the shell. Mm. Actually, that's pretty interesting. It's not bad, though. No, I'm not hating it. Mm-mm. Hmm. Not bad. Interesting. Yeah. I like what they did there. I think we'll have to finish the bag to find mm. out if I really like <laughs> Yeah, it seems like a slippery slope here. Mm. Once you start eating these, it's over with. Yeah, they're too poppable, Paul. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. I like it. So pick these up in sheets. Okay. I have to be careful how I say that because that's norm mm. not normally how I pronounce it. <laughs> mm. That's not what you want to have to eat them either. Yeah, well, there's that, Paul <laughs> Aiden. <laughs> Pretty good, though. I like it. Interesting. Yeah, so getting into the fall spirit with these uh, pumpkin pie mm -hmm. milk chocolate m ms I didn't think they would be as chocolatey as they are. Yeah, that surprised me, too. Yeah, that's I good. I expected a little little stronger uh, pumpkin in there, but no, it's not bad mm -hmm. at all. It was melting my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix that. Yeah, fix that. Just eat them quicker, Paul. <laughs> yes, Just sir. eat them quicker. Sounds good. Good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. That's good. Yeah, you got to try them. Yeah, I. You know what? I'm probably have to have a couple more before I can yeah, really make yeah. a, a solid can, decision on I, this. I can see that happen. Yeah. <laughs> How we doing on the roads, Paul? Well, out in Warrington, you're still seeing some heavy volume from the bypass getting out towards Dumfries Road. Mm -hmm. The long-standing incident is northbound on 29. They were trying to contain a fuel spill there, and in Warrington Airport, the tractor trailer was on its side at the last update. Midland Road was closed in the area of Germantown Road. Out in King George County, the incident reported to be Caledon Road at Bloomsbury Road. Hmm. Man, got me salivating over here. <laughs> Northbound 95 slows on and off between Lorton and Springfield. 395 is thick northbound between Duke Street and the 14th Street Bridge. There was one of a hit and run near the Pentagon. It's on the right shoulder at mile marker 8. I'm Paul Hayden with traffic. So, Paul, I can report that all the covers colors taste the same. Okay. And inside, <laughs> that you can see it's just chocolate. All right, all right. I was wondering if there layer. was like a layer in there. Yeah, really. Mm, that's yeah. pretty good stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Paul's updates brought to you by Ray Siding Company. Siding, roofs, windows, and design. They do more. RaySiding.com. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Making me lose my voice over here, Paul. <laughs> yeah, it's got to fix. Probably have to have some more M&Ms to clear my vocal cords. Yeah. I'm going to have to stop by Sheets and uh, investigate this further. Yeah. I think you might be able to find them there. <laughs> and uh, everywhere else you find, find M&M products. Gotcha. Mm. All right, my friend. Oh, got it all over my hand. Yeah, see? Probably have to have another one. Yeah, see? In your I, mouth, not your hand. There you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> you too. Get something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, there was so much more I was going to say, Paul, but I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I lobbed it over the plate. It's up to you if you were here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> These are really good. Mm -hmm. If you like pumpkin pie and you like chocolate and you like M&M's, these are good. Yeah. These are really good. Yep. I don't know what this color is. Mm -hmm. I think it's off-white. Is it off-white? Yeah. Is it autumn white? Okay. I don't know. Good stuff, though. <laughs> did you just yeah. invent a color? <laughs> I did. Autumn white. Nice. Now available in your paint department. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's funny. So, yeah, so check them out. They're good. Mm -hmm. Get you some. Mm -hmm. Did you finish the bag off? Well, you kind of split it either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's a winner on Weird Food Wednesday. I'm going to go try and get my voice back before the weather comes up. Mm -hmm. All right, man. I'll right. talk to you later on. <laughs> we'll check in next week for another Weird Food. And we've got bacon next week. Oh, now you got me. Cinnamon, toasted cinnamon crunch bacon. Right. Hormel. Sounds good. I picked it up at Walmart. All right.
We're all radio people, shop. Mm -hmm. That's going to burn. <laughs> it's, yeah, that would be a good one. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later on. Thanks for checking in here at Thunder 104.5.